Hi everyone, um, just going live with a few demos. You won't see me in this demo much, except for my hands. Um, I've got to get my computer running, so bear with me. Um, I'm just going to make sure it's on zero for silence. And uh, here we are. So welcome everyone, glad you could join me today. I've got a couple of little demos I want to do. And hi Sue, hi Rado, how are ya? So these are a couple of my favourite products um, and I'm going to show you and tell you why they're my favourite products. Hopefully the video is okay. Hi Sandy. Okay. So, first things first, I'm going to talk about is the, um, I'm going to just adjust this camera a little bit. Hang on, just so you've got a little bit more screen. Hang on, let me get the comments out. All right, all good. I won't let me do it, so we'll just work with what we've got. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Colleen. Are you excited? Hi, Cheryl. Well, this is just going to be a little bit of a, a um, a demo on some products so hopefully it will help you guys when you're using them and you've got them in your um, stash and you don't know what to do with them or you're unsure hi Gidget <laughs> hi, hi Kerry so the first product I'm going to show you is this baby here and this is called the batting joiner I absolutely love this stuff it's only 12 bucks a pack so and it lasts for ages you don't have to use it just for batting, just FYI. You can also use it to join fabrics. Yes, just temporarily. Hi Yvonne, can't find that thing, but we will talk to you soon. So um, this one here, I think is fantastic for that. It's four centimeters by 20 meters. So it lasts quite a while. I think this is my second, my mind's a bit dirty, gets kept in the drawer. But for what I'm using it for, that's fine. Um, it is glue on one side and not on the other. So if you're wanting to temporarily base the seam, that is texture, FYI, not a mole. <laughs> so I've, I've drawn on myself. So glue on one side and plain on the other. So hi Terry, how are you? I have my new mat down. Hi Louise. And I'm going to show you how to use this one first. So let me just get some stuff out of the way. Um, I use the Matilda's own product. I haven't had any issues with the Matilda's own product, so I like to stay with something I know treats me nicely. So I'm going to just pop that there. Now you notice that I'm I'm still using one of these, even though I've got my mat. You have to sit your iron on your um, silicon mat. If you don't, it, and you sit it straight there, it will burn. Okay, so just so you know. My iron is filthy, and I'll tell you why. Hi, Adele. <laughs> Hi, Gidget. Um, okay, so I'm just going to put my iron aside. Find a spot. My bench is getting more and more full. Uh, if you saw my room, it's a massive big table, and I fill it up. Happy Sunday, everyone. Yes. So with your wadding, okay, you can even do it using, um, even with pellen, if you want to join some pellen together. I've been using these jacks. These are massive uh, 12 inch ones, but um, you don't have to have them that big. I do have other sizes, a nine, <coughs> excuse me, a nine and a 10, but they just cut through so nicely. So yeah, your iron's filthy too. Yeah, I'll tell you why mine's really filthy because I'm, I'm naughty. So I've got two bits of batting and can, you can do this with any size. Okay, any kind of batting, it doesn't matter. Hi, another Terry has arrived. Hi, Terry. <laughs> and you just find the size or the area of the two pieces that you want to join. Lay your um, batting joiner across it. Give it a quick snip. Get the two pieces. Okay. Lay that down on top. And just get your dry iron, always dry. And just join together now if you want to do it both sides you can just for a little added security let's add that on there so just unwind a bit 
and trim. Shall I win from you? I have those awesome huge... Oh, I know! They are amazing, aren't they? Do you like them? Hi, Maggie! So I can now do it that side. And that means that those two, you know, even with a bit of a tug, they're not really going to come apart. Probably could get them a little bit closer. So let's see what happens if I try and take that off. Oh, look how stuck that is. Isn't that awesome? That's what you want. So make sure you've got them in the position you want them in before you iron them together. They are hard to pull off. Um, get them off the, the fabric or the uh, wadding. Um, so just making sure that you get to kind of do that. These are great when you... Why are you on your mat, you back? <laughs> no, no, it's all good. Um, <laughs> love my jacksies. I have three pairs. Good girl, Jennifer. Um, these, this, this ironing stuff is fantastic for anything that's wadding. So, um, bag batting, wadding, even fabric, pellon, any of those things, it's perfect for that. Um, and the reason why I say you can use it with any of those, and if you're doing with bag batting, and you know, you know how sometimes bags have got to have that join, but you've got to fold it up. So you got one standing upright and the other one. You can do that, still have them joined so they don't float around and the, the side will stand upwards. So that's another good thing with them. Um, now, the other thing too is if you want to join fabric together and you say with your, say if you're doing something like quilt as you go, they're great for quilt as you go too because you can just set them up ready to go. You don't have to try and stitch those together. You can just iron that in, in the middle. How much are the nine inch jack scissors? Nine inch jacks are, good question, glad you asked. 44 for the nine inch ones. I have them in stock. Um, yeah, so if you're wanting to just join those together, you can quite easily without having to sew or do zigzags. Zigzag I find tends to actually stretch them, stretch the this and you get a sort of a warped look through there and I prefer this much much cleaner much nicer and if you're at you know yet your sewing machine and you're doing and you you're doing your quilt and you're this far from the end and that you just need to add that <laughs> yes you can Dal. um you just need to add that little bit more uh, wadding at the bottom of your quilt because you've just missed a corner or you know you just that little slice and you just need to add that in you can simply just lift up your quilt side, the side of your quilt, and add it in from there um, without having any issues or having to stop your machine. All you have to do is get the iron and iron it on, okay? Cutting out clothes, cutting out curtains and cut long cuts like bag straps. Yes, yes, yes. Um, the scissors are fantastic for all those things, yeah. I'm presuming he's talking about the scissors, um, Debbie, yeah, yeah. Um, I'll just pop your name on that pair <clears throat> is all right for me to write on the box um Lynette all right on the back now the other thing um oh and with this I'll show you with the fabric so Say you've got two bits of fabric and you want to join them together just temporarily to see what it looks like or you're going to do, yep, no dramas, thanks Lynette. So say if you're going to do, you're doing your um, your quilt and you're going to do uh, the, the faux, pie, um, what they call a sashing down the side, you're doing your quilt as you go and you've got one sitting there, all right, and you've got your next one, move it over a bit so you can see more. Right, and your next one is going to sit there. What's the days? Right, and you want it to hold still so that you can do sashing. So, say, I oh know this is not the type of fabric, <coughs> excuse me, I would use, but I'll show you what I mean. <clears throat> yeah, that was a bit crooked. Hi, Suzanne. Oh, thanks, Judy. Hi, how are you? So this is my, my quilt. I've got the two pieces sitting there. 
that's one block another block and I want to put a sashing in the middle and I'm thinking okay well I'm going to put that there but these are moving around too much let's just sort that out so let's turn them over oops today has got my top caught turn them over <clears throat> get the two pieces together best you can get your tape now you don't have to go the whole length because enough of it you know like you could do little bits if you wanted to just to support it and this will stop it from moving around and separating especially under the needle you know when they move under the needle and you go oh, for god's sake you know now i've got a crooked seam so if i have them like that <coughs> excuse me okay now they're not going to move. Oops, I just need to heat that up a little bit more. I always forget that Batik's a little bit thicker than the usual cotton. <clears throat> that's going to stick them there. Oh yeah, that's just a stretch in it. All right, in the this stuff, it's got a bit of a stretch. So if I do that, you can see it's got a bit of a stretch. Yeah. So then <clears throat> I can put my sashing on and when I stitch obviously that's not going to be the sashing but that's what I'm sort of using as an excuse with the sashing you want to stir them in or tip them in like that you want to do that sort of thing and have it down there you can do that and not have that fabric move around on you and you get this lovely sashing now if you're really keen and you really want to you could actually cut little bits of this so you can go down the middle, just take off a slice, oops a day, there we go, and well it won't sew right to the front and back, it won't join the two together, it might just hold it there because the glue might go through, I'm not too sure, we'll soon find out. Um, but it might just help support, give a bit of strength to that. So that's now a little bit more supported, even though it's not really, it's just like a light, very light. Um, what is this called? This is this is bag batting love. This is the joiner. The the batting joiner. Sorry, not bag batting, just no so batting joiner. So you can use it as like a little bit of a um a lining for it. Anything like that. Just something you want to make a little bit more supported, but you don't want to have it stiff as a board and just stop it from moving. So I'm just using it as an example. Alright. Oh, literally just showing you how they join together, Suzanne. Okay, so that, that's how it works. All right, so then that's ready. And even with the heat going through, it's starting to stick down. The more heat I put on, that's going to stop it from moving. So if you're doing quilt as you go, anything like that, it is going to stop it. There's your sashing. You can put in between. Okay, and, and it works as a fabulous product. So that's, that is no so batting. And they're only like 12 bucks they are as cheap as and they last for ages multi uses okay not just for joining your batting together like i did here you can also use it to join your pieces together underneath to stop them from moving okay so that also helps great in bag making because especially fabric bag making because you can when you've got those pieces and you you've, you've got to have a you know, you've got to score, score a piece and then you've got to sort of sew it down and sew it down both sides and then flip it up so it stands upright. Well, that, that can happen without you having to do all that sewing. So you can actually use that to um, support it and join those pieces together without the sewing. All right, so I'm just going to put that on there. Might as well. Now it's done. Okay, so that's that. All right, now... So that's that one product. The next product that I absolutely love, and you saw it at the start, is this baby. Now mine's got powder dust all over it. You can wash them, they can go in the dishwasher. They're $25, that box got a little bit squished. 
serve it up. That's them there, it's the iron rest. You can use them for your large or your small irons, they work for both, okay? And that just means you still get some heat underneath it, but it's not cooking and burning your fabric underneath or your table, okay? So it takes away that burning heat that you would have, especially, you know, if I've got it over the top of a mat or something, you don't want it to go through and buckle your mat. You don't want it to go through and and burn burn your table. Some people don't have sewing rooms, so, so they are doing it in their lounge room. And that's what you want. You want something that you might have this, um, or you don't. You know, you might just have it there. And you sort of look at it and go, well, it's still pushing a little bit of heat. You know, but at least you've got it on this. There's a gap because of the distance there. Plus, it is also a gap underneath because of the, the little pins underneath, little feet, and it keeps that away, but it doesn't melt the silicon, okay, the silicon mat. All right, they can be thrown in the dishwasher, whatever, if you wanna clean them. Personally, just run them under some nice warm water, a bit of soap, and they come clean really quickly, okay? So that's the sil uh, silicon mats, the iron rest silicon mat, and they're only 25. And they are absolutely essential when you have these little irons, especially when you go on retreats. Now, if you look at the bottom of my iron, ah, oh dear, it's very, very, very dirty. Because <laughs> I do a lot of things with glue and paint and yada, yada, yada. And I'm really quite brutal with my products. So they really cop it. Now, this got dirty way before I ever knew that these existed. So I do have one of these. Um, in stock and I've put it somewhere and I couldn't find it so I'm just going to show you in a minute I'm going to turn the iron off and show you how to use this once it's cooled down because if you try and put it on while it's hot you'll burn your fingers just let you know do I need one with the iron I bought Michelle um, the little mini irons uh, yeah little mini irons yeah look if you're going to be sitting this down and if you're going to be using it does reduce the heat, so if you need really, really, really hot, you might find the cover might reduce that heat a little bit, but it still works just the same. Um, you just might have to hold down a little bit longer. But it, what it does is stops it from, this will actually stop it from actually damaging your fabric, okay? It'll stop those marks, because there's nothing worse than getting white fabric, like I'm gonna show you. You get white fabric and you're ironing away and it's not going to come off is it because you know it's probably baked on no it's not going to come off look at that hang on there we go you can see it's starting to now okay um for the mat i mean oh yeah look yeah if you you want they're perfect um those rest ironing um those iron rests yes so there it is there. You can say, I wonder if the adapter is at your house. Oh, Cherie. Yes, I've sent that to you. No, Cherie? I've already sent that, Cherie. It'll be definitely coming to you. So you can see the marks, right? So what that does is prevents that from happening, and it prevents this from happening. So... Um, that is that there, and like, oh, that's why it's not coming off, because I've turned it off. Um, that'll prevent that from happening, okay? I have sent the adapter, Cherie, so just so you know. Okay, so the way these work, yeah, it must be, or it could be, oh, I still have some products sitting here, because we had to double check some orders, so it could be still here. So what you would do, and I'm not going to do this, entirely for this one um, is that you would actually pop that in there just like that and this I'm not going to leave it on just slips over just like that. that that is it it's just that hard to apply and then you can turn your iron back on and it sits on there nicely and it'll heat up and just work the same okay so that protects your iron the mini iron guard protects your, your fabric from your iron and people like me so that there is a fantastic product, especially when you're doing your ironing. And we don't iron, we press. Um, and it keeps your, um, your iron nice and clean. It saves you having to clean it all the time because you can just throw this um, or wash this out. All right. So that's that one. 
So that that those three items together and your mat are just brilliant. Okay. Great gift for someone who's just starting out, especially to start with the right products. I always, always tell people to start with the right products. Um, nothing is worse than trying to start to sew and you've got products that are just fighting you the whole entire way and then you get so sort of, I don't know, you, you just get really disgruntled with it all and think you can't sew when it's probably the products you're using. Now, my other most favourite thing, because the one thing, oh yeah, I love my mat too, the one thing I hate is unpicking. I do not like unpicking. I think it's the biggest waste of time ever, <laughs> but I have some unpicking to do. So you can see here, I've just scribbled on this, right? And you can see I have, there's the start of my thread. My little quick, yeah, despondent, yeah, that's the word. And you want to start. Now they don't come with batteries, but if you, um, they're just, I think it's just one or two ASO, uh, triple A's, I think. I have to have a look in my eye. Very easy to load. And what you've got to do when you do this, make sure that you've got it started. So make sure you can see that little bit of thread. The iron, oh sorry Marilyn, the iron, price on the cover please. Yep, so the cover is 20 for the iron guard, the mini iron guard cover. Um, make sure you've got you can see that little bit of thread just starting there that's what you want to see before you start if you try and start on something that doesn't have that give already like here see right here see there where it hasn't actually started pulling up like this one has that one's pulling up it's starting to come apart that's what we want to see if you start on these you're likely to cut your fabric so these are designed these little quick grippers, if you haven't got one of these, you, you can't, you, you, you're not going to know yourself. Once you start having to unpick and you've got one of these, your life is completely different. You will be, this little thing went missing right when I needed it the most. Yes, I found it at last, my saviour. Oh, it's just fabulous. This little thing will save you hours and hours of distress. Um, and, I mean, I've unpicked half a quilt, quilted on the long arm. Oh, sort sure, Suzanne, I'll just write it on here. This please one iron guard. Yep, no worries, Jenny Gregory. Um, now, and Suzanne, yep. <clears throat> okay, so I'll just make sure I didn't miss any comments. Um, yep, all right, got them all. So when you're when you're undoing these and you're trying to to get them away from the wadding, make sure, like I say, you've got that little start. See that little start? If you don't have that start, get your scissors. These are a bit of an overkill. Get your scissors and just trim that start so that you can actually. Now I'm going to go upside down. I might cut a little bit more than I want. There we go. I'll have an eye guard, please. Yep. Make sure you trim it and get it going. See? See how that gets it going? Sure, Marilyn. I'll get one out in a sec. And then you've got to find where I did that. I've got a feeling it was up here somewhere. Where is it? There. So it was there. And then once you've got that, you can then start. Okay, see how it's now cutting away at that bit there? You have to come from the direction that it's sewn at. Don't come across the, the thread like on this angle. You will cut. So the stitching is going that way. You will cut the fabric. Oh, no worries, Veronica. If I'm going to cut that there or get that out, I need to come facing it. And you can see instantly, there you are. I haven't started that stitch. And this is what happens. As soon as you um, try and undo that without coming in the right direction or having that pulled open you will cut through you can see your wadding or your or your fabric all right so make sure and that's something um, I found out by mistake of course you know you always find these the best things out by mistake make sure you've got it in the right direction of the thread the way it's been stitched okay and then you can just Slowly, and you can see it comes from that direction. 
if you get a bit of a knot you might have to go in with a, a um, an actual manual unpicker and just get that knot out there we go okay and there you are and it's slowly but surely coming away but if I had to sit there and unpick that oh that's all right Jenny um, and do that manually I'd be there for forever just trying to get that out okay so this thing is my absolute savior it saved me hours days of work trying to unpick half a quilt because I changed my mind on the pattern I said no I don't like it <laughs> Uh, it is a game changer. Yeah, yeah. So instead of going, I'm not doing that project now because I've got to unpick it. It's way too much work. I don't feel like doing that today. You will literally pick it up, unpick it with this in minutes and then get back to work on doing that project. Do you know what I mean? It's not going to stop you. It's going to help you move forward in your work. So very quickly, I've like taken that thread out. Um, in just a few seconds okay all right so I just need to quickly uh, iron guard for Marilyn just while I'm thinking of it Mar Marilyn I better write your name on it um, Okay, done. An electric thread unpicker. Yeah, Judy, absolutely fabulous. And like I say, make sure you're coming at the direction of the actual sewing. And you can see there, I didn't, and it cut through that wadding. Now, obviously I've sewn that with just the backing and not through to the, the top part, but you can see how quickly. Now that, that will, with time, settle down those holes that are there from the sewing and with a bit of steam so that will settle down but how quick was that to get that undone and something is complex deco bob black now um deco bob black did you want pre-wounds julie or did you want the real sweetie okay so there you go so that's that is my ultimate 38 dollars for the quick Pick the, the quick ripper. Um, they aren't cheap, but by oh, geez, I tell you what, you'll you'll love it. Absolutely love it. I guarantee you'll love it. All right, so that's uh, pre round would be great, Julie. Uh, yes, I can get you pre round. Yep, I'll write that one down. Julie, okay, done. All right, so that is that one. All right, now, the other product, just in, you've seen me use it, I've just been using it. What I love about this is that it's it's half an inch thick, which is fabulous, okay? Um, and when I stand it upright, it literally stands upright, okay? I hold it at the bottom, whoop, look out, stands there. It doesn't bend. Competition, stand it upright, whoop. I can't oh look Ella it's the best thing remember we were at the retreat Ella and I got out the thing and some of the other girls I had to unpick something and they're like oh my god what are you doing what are you doing what are you doing I think I sold three or four just by that one yeah so this one here see how it bends I can try and do that but I'd have to really force it okay see how it plops back it just doesn't want to do that same thickness half an inch but it's completely different product i can feel my fingers through that this one you definitely won't okay different kind of product definitely new zealand wool um 35 is a brilliant price yeah you remember um and i love love these they have just come in i'm going to start distributing them here in australia and um i just think um they're brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So they're my few products. Now the other one, which is the whole jack. I did do a bit of a display on them before. You love your yours too, Cheryl. I love mine. I couldn't live without them. Um, Debbie was talking about these before with some of you girls. So they do come in all different sizes. I have in stock the 10, 9s and 12s. Um, and they are as sharp as sharp can be. They cut through wadding like it's a hot knife through butter. It's really, really good. Um, they're, even though they're big, I mean, these are, do you have any of the little irons, please? Yeah, I do, Jenny. I'll grab, put one down for you. 
Um, me on. Yep, easy done. Um, even though they're big, they're heavy, but they're not as heavy as you think they're going to be. And then you've got, this is the nine, uh, 10. They come in a beautiful box, which is nice. And they have a little cover. And you can see that's the oil from them, or the, the you know, the, when they first make them, um, because they're made properly. I have a different size in the mats. They're amazing. Oh, they're really good. Lucy, really good. There you are. You can see the oil there, so they've been looked after really well. Um, just make sure you clean them before your first use. And you can hear them. Can you hear that? That's a beautiful noise. Oh, no. So you've got $50 for the 10 inch ones, they're 62 for the 12s, and the, oh, I've just sold the light, this is the last of the 9s, <clears throat> and they're 44, I can't order them in, but you can see in here where they've been sat, and they're sat in that, so that they are looked after and oiled before they get to you, and, they're, and you're not getting something that's going to be stiff and hard to manage, okay? So just remember, give them a wipe over with a, with a rag just to get any excess off. Look, I, I, I mean, I've got it on my hands, but it's not, not leaving a residue. So it must be something that's okay, obviously, because they use them with, um, with fabric. So, yeah, have two mats, home and retreat. Good idea. Good idea. So that's those. So they're my new um, go-to. I love them. I did have, I do have... A pair of red handled scissors that I've been using for years. Can you put an unpicker thingy aside for me, please, Michelle? Heather, no worries. Um, Heather Wallace. Oops, a daisy. Um, unpicker. Yep. Um, and what I found is that um, is that is that is the Walmart is the one. That is the wool mat, is the one, 1 p.m. Yeah, yeah, this is the one you ordered, Marilyn, if that's what you were trying to message me with. Yes, this is the one you ordered. Uh, yes, yeah, so what I find is that when you need to run down fabric, just pop that over there. Um, so I have plenty of 10 inch and 12 inch in stock. So when you need to run down fabric, like that easy right if you're wanting to do that you just want to run it down yeah I'll show you the other scissors and show you what happens I can find them yeah, there. mind you they're probably not as sharp because they're not as new but they do this every time so if I try and run it's a hell of a lot more hard work so that was the running down on that side and that's the running down on this side and you can see how it's really torn whereas this side it's just sort of cut through it's a lot see how that it's a big difference really slashed into that cut just cut through yeah so that's the difference between an okay pair of scissors and a bloody ripper pair so that that's that's why I've turned to these. So I'm not throwing these out yet. They will end up being um, paper scissors eventually, but they're still good enough to use for fabric. At the moment, though, I'm trying to use these as my main go-tos, and that's that's the ones that I'm, I'm using. Okay, so that's them. Um, and I think that was about all the products that I had to discuss with you right now. I am going to do a demo. A demo, yes on this so this is the book cover it's a project um, or project bag whichever whichever one you want to call it a book cover I would call it um, and this one here it's pre-cut felt book cover or project bag personally I'm going to make the book cover so I'm going to show you that I've started could I have one no so backing joiner sure Cheryl um, Oops. Um, better write lease then. I won't know who it's for. Okay, easy done. So this is what you get in the kit. 
So you get everything to make it. Now I'm going to do this on my jack. So I've already put this on. Okay, and it's just a bit of raw edge applique I'm going to do on my jack. And then I'm going to swap the foot over. And then we're going to, or I'm going to join that on. I've started doing it um, by hand. It's not going to happen. So I'm going to do it on the machine. And I'm going to sew these around by machine. <coughs> Excuse me. Then it's also got the, the, the inside um, bits, the sleeves. And these two here are little pockets um, that will go on there as well. And these here are also little pockets that we put on the inside. So it also comes with all the destructions. So it's got all the destructions on how to do it. And um, I'm going to do that one today. I do have one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, hang on, one, two, three. Hang on, Michelle. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in stock. And they are $39. Great one to do with the kitties. Looking forward to it. So I'm going to do that. Also comes with the elastic, all that stuff. Everything is included. All we have to do is sew it together and decorate. And that's what I'm going to do um, as soon as I can. I'm going to do a little bit more long arming and then come back and do um, uh, a demo with this uh, Astra and Anne book cover. So I look forward to seeing you then. I'm probably going to do that at around about 3.30. So if you wanted to come back then, um, you will be uh, able to join me with that one. How much are the 9-inch scissors? Donna, they are 44. Um, and I will order some in 9-inch ones and uh, get them in for you, love. I've got 10-inch in stock. 9-inch I'd have to order. I think. Hang on. Hang on. Maybe I'll the other way around. Hang on. Other way around, I've got plenty of the 9-inch. Um, a 12 for Gidget. Sure, darling. Pop your name on there. Uh, hi, Dottie. Do you have a little Jack Hardness scissors? I do, yes. They're inside. The ones that are left and right-handed? Yes. Um, Gidget. I do, sweetheart. Do you want me to pop one aside for you? So I've only got one of the 10s, but I've got plenty of the uh, the 9s. So if... Um, for 9 inch, sure, darling. So I'll get another pair of 9s. These ones are for Donna Lenny. Okay. Alrighty, done. Okay, so... Yep, no worries, Dottie. I'll pop some away. Hardness. Ah, hardness. Scissors. Dottie. Easy done, sweetheart. Um, I will organise to come back and see you soon. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the little demo of some products. Um, and uh, let me know if you want that quick ripper. She's an absolute... Oh, you want two, sweetie. Yep. Um, they, they are brilliant. Dottie uses them too, don't you, Dottie? We love our little quick rippers. They are brilliant. And, um, yeah, you can't go past them. Oh, and it does come with a battery. And it is. It's a double A. How cool is that? Okay. So, and it also comes with comes with a little cover to cover the front. Never, the, never done that. But if you've got grandies, it's a good one to have covered. And a little brush. Also has destruction, so you can completely stuff up how to manage it. Um, but you, you can actually, if you wanted to unscrew and clean that out, you can. I've never done it, so I've no idea if that how that would work. But to un take the battery out, it's really easy. Um, worth every penny absolutely are I cannot stress you how much this will take the pressure off your life <laughs> okay so that is the quick ripper um, I'm also going to try and source some of these as well um, but uh, like see if I can but we'll see how we go I would have to have to intimately buy I would have to immediately buy a new quick ripper if I lost I did actually 
I actually have two quick rippers because I couldn't find mine and I went bugger this I'm not I'm not I'm doing it by hand I'm gonna I grabbed another one so I ended up having to buy two yeah all right well thank you again ladies thanks for joining me I will see you about th uh, 3.30 for a, a live video and um, we will uh, do a demo on this wonderful bag Look forward to seeing you then, and um, and I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing if you guys want to buy one of these as well, and I want to see what you can make as well. Um, I, I'd love to see how you decorate it, so look forward to it. Chat to you soon, guys. Bye.